YouTube. Um, we've got some books to put on shelves. Um, so I thought I'd do a little sort of time lapse video. Pardon the runny nose. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be putting these books on the bookshelf. <laughs> and yeah, it'll just, it'll just be a nice little almost ASMR kind of thing. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Hello there. So, where we are at the moment is we've got most of the, uh, I suppose, classics and things like that in. Um, some of them roughly by publisher or colour, um, and there's a little bit of alphabetising <laughs> going on. Uh, but, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes, because uh, we might, might need to move things around once we have more books out. But we're going to move over to, to the other side now and see what we can get in there.
Okay, so we're all done. Uh, we've got some classics up here, some nice looking ones, some Oxford War classics, some brighter coloured penguins and some books that look like they should go with it. Some red vintage books down here along with some aromatherapy stuff. Then we have some interesting coloured penguins and some other books that just kind of needed to go with them. And along with more black penguins there. And here we have some little women stuff there which just kind of seems to flow on from the penguins pretty well. Some mystery books down there. And we have some, some fantasy uh, stuff there. A couple of dragons having a chat. And this is a mix of, mix of some fantasy, some children's stuff. There are some children's editions of Jules Verne books so they're in there. Moving on to some more children's literature. And then we have some anthologies over there. And then some sort of outdoor books and gardening on wildlife. And a little, little rabbit there. And then coming back. Coming around to the other side, da, da, da. we have Jane Austen, some little, little penguin books there, some modern classics, moving into more sort of modern classics and modern fiction and some Hemingway and Toni Morrison and all, all that sort of modern fiction kind of carries on, it goes through some Anne of Green Gables books more sort of contemporary fiction and then from here it's, sort of, it's actually alphabeticalised alphabeticalised, that's the right word all the way through uh, and then some mystery and then non-fiction sort of A to Z or A to Z I should say being British all the way through there and that is basically our uh, our bookcase downstairs. There's no poetry yet, and the Stephen Donaldson stuff is is still to be sorted. But there we go. I'm going to leave you with this little trailing ivy and this uh, orange kazoo there. Uh, but uh, hope you're having a good week wherever you are, and see you soon. Bye.